Okay, so fun fact, everybody. I'm back in California! But I did not waste my time when I was back east. I'm Steve the Missionary, and when I went to New York, I saw the musical once. Seriously, look how blue the sky is. You do not get that back east. Look how freaking blue. Once is a musical based off a 2007 movie, Once. Music of Glenn Hansard and Marquette Irglova. And it's got that one song that your hipster friends were really into back when they were still your emo friends. Take this singing road and point. And the story is stupidly simple. There's an Irish guy who sings music on a street corner and there's a Czech girl who sells flowers. They record an album. Emotions happen. The end. Not that exciting, right? Except it is so good. Oh, it's so good. Each actor on stage is also playing an instrument on stage. And when you walk in, they're already on stage singing Irish songs and selling you beer. It's, it's awesome. My favorite part of the whole show is when she tricks him to playing one of his songs at an open mic night at a bar. And he sings this beautiful song called Gold. Oh uh, no, I'm not talented enough to sing that. It's a love song, and the love behind it is so real, and the song is so good that one by one, the other actors on stage pick up their instruments, and they stand up and join in. And that's the reason I love the show, because we all know how easy it is for bad things to spread, and how it's basically impossible for us to untie ourselves from the knots we make of all the bad things that we do. I mean, if you really want to get depressed, talk to your friends about politics, or about how there's only 15 episodes of Firefly. But this musical insists on telling us that love is what's infectious. When we love someone else, and when we love them well, and when we love them selflessly, we are charging others to do the same. We'll not spoil the ending, but let's just say that he has to make some hard decisions so that he can be honest to himself and so that he can do what's best for her. And I think the same thing goes with things like that. When we make tough decisions for someone else, we give other people the example, the reason, or even the excuse to do the same thing. Love is infectious. Doing good is infectious. Thinking of others is infectious. Liking and commenting and subscribing and emailing is infectious. Now if we could just start loving our enemies like this, we'd really be getting somewhere. I'll see y'all next time. And by enemies, Jesus didn't mean some people who are a little rough around the edges and they're wrong, but gosh darn it, can't help but like them. He meant people who you are strongly tempted to hate and fear. Internet person and role model Mark Shea said that. This is a terribly out-of-tune ukulele.